The Renomic Neo, Biotronic's latest device for patients who have active cardiac implants. The Renomic Neo replaces our previous Renomic programmer. But what is new and how does it work? Our engineers have created a smart design, which includes a brilliant touchscreen with high resolution external display option, handle for carrying, a cable compartment, an integrated pacing system analyzer, and wandless telemetry. To begin, open the screen. Look for the release key, which is located on the inner side of the handle. Then, using both hands, adjust the display to the desired position. The display is vertically adjustable. The Renomic Neo can be operated with a battery or power brick. To insert the battery, first remove the battery cover, then insert the battery, and then close the cover. The battery will automatically charge whilst the device is connected to the power brick, and the device does not need to be switched on. A fully charged battery will give an operating time of up to three hours, making the Renomic Neo fully portable. The battery is not a standard component and needs to be ordered separately. With or without battery, the Renomic Neo will operate perfectly with a power brick. The power plug for the device can be found on the rear of the left side panel and is illustrated with this symbol. To turn the device on, press the power button on the front left part of the top panel once. To turn the device off, Hold the power button down for two to six seconds. This will bring an option to shut down on screen. To put the device into standby mode, press the power button for less than two seconds. The device can also be put into standby by selecting the on-screen option when the shutdown procedure is followed. If you require to reset the device, hold the power button for longer than six seconds. The Renomic Neo Stylus with soft tip is a key part of the Renomic Neo and is located here and is easily released from its magnetic holder. By flipping up the front of the device, a large compartment is opened. This contains the PGH and ECG cables. The PGH cable is fixed permanently in the compartment. The ECG plug is located in the compartment and the ECG cable should be connected here. Once the PGH and ECG cables are removed, the compartment can be completely shut and the cables run through the cable outlets on either side. The PGH has an LED indicator ring to show telemetry status and a length of 2.8 meters. The ECG cable has fixed electro clips and a length of four meters. When the cables are returned to their compartment, they should be fixed in place with a down holder. There is also ample extra space in the back of the compartment. The Renomic Neo is a programming device which is able to automatically archive and digitally upload patient data. No more printing out and paper filing. USB interfaces can be found on the front and left-hand side of the device. This allows the Renomic Neo to be connected to a printer, USB flash drive, USB mouse, USB keyboard, or USB barcode scanner. The mini display port is located on the left-hand side of the device and is compatible with standard HDMI, VGA, and DVI adapters. No additional software drivers are required. Integrated into the device is a 4G, 3G mobile internet stick, authorized by Biotronic. The device is also Wi-Fi compatible, as well as having a port for an ethernet cable. It also has a Bluetooth connection. The Renomic Neo has two emergency keys located here. Using one of the two emergency keys will start either the emergency pacing or the emergency shock. Pressing the Safe Program key will cause the following to occur. Firstly, the current active programming in the implanted device or the settings of the PSA are replaced by the emergency parameter values and the SAFE program is started. Secondly, the SAFE program is active until a new permanent program is sent to the implanted device. 
If a patient has a tachyarrhythmia in the event of an emergency during the treatment, it is possible to actively terminate this event by triggering an emergency shock. Pressing the emergency shock key will result in the emergency shock parameters being activated. For safety reasons, a dialog also gives the user the option of canceling the action. After an emergency shock is triggered, the previously set programming of the implanted device becomes active again. A three-chamber pacing system analyzer is integrated into every Renomic Neo. The ARV connector allows atrial or right ventricular measurements, and the LV connector is for left ventricular measurements. Once you have completed your measurements and stored the cables away, power down the device and then close the screen. The handle should always be used to carry the device, and it can be placed in a standard luggage case for transportation.